Valentino giving me shoes. Respectfully, checking back in, Bronze Capo. Faith Evans blaming Little Kim and Charlie Baltimore as like a passive reason if she did sleep with Pac, Big was creeping with Charlie Baltimore and Little Kim. This usually be green. I want to meet y'all. This usually be green. I switch it to Jim Jim Benji. Like, 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 describe y'all first tour, like, as a, as a bad boy family together. Let me tell you about mine. Okay. It was two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> what? She Listen. never been on none of us. What, the reunion tour? Yeah. Okay, now, hold on. Part of my back still part of okay, that whole. Okay, okay. But hold on, let me stop you. Now, when you I was in LA when I was in the club and met Tupac, they was on that bad boy tour. Because you want to know why? Because of Big's jealousy, or you didn't mm -hmm. go because... Me and Big was going through it, but on some other shit, you know, I still was about my money. And I, our career shit was very separate, you know? Okay. Um, and good? they wanted me to go on the tour fucking saying it's promo. That mean free, my nigga. Right. You know <laughs> 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 Okay, not only on the personal side, I had found out about Big and Kim. Big, Big was already dating um, Charlie Baltimore. Damn, I thought you was going to avoid this. So, no, listen. <laughs> what? You know, what happened? No, nah, I thought you was not going to avoid She's going to go on everywhere. Well, no, no, no. You don't avoid shit. shit. You don't avoid shit. I, but I'm not angry. It's all good. Damn. Nigga, I'm still damn. here. Okay. <laughs> I'm the shit. <laughs> shows like you know getting like I want to say at the time I had maybe two singles out but I had a gold my album might have even been gold but right. I know I had two gold singles for sure uh -huh. and maybe my album almost gold I'm getting paid like 7500 just to do two songs three songs on a, mm -hmm. on a night mm -hmm. you know maybe 75 10 G's like mm -hmm. that was okay for me mm -hmm. I, why am I gonna go on a tour for free and might have to fuck somebody up right. you know what I mean like I don't want to even be this is me trying to be very not around that shit because I don't want to do that you try to be grown right exactly no. I, I, exactly <laughs> <laughs> so I, was, I, was feeling, I was like hell no nah, I ain't doing uh -huh. that and I um Went to LA because this producer was said he was wanted to pay me to write songs with his group, which is who I was with in the club the night that I met Tupac with when Tretch was with Tupac in the club. Oh. The I was in picture. LA because I was just yeah. trying to make minute, money as a minute, writer. Now this makes sense. Okay. And they was on so, the bad boy so, tour. So so Pac was That's in the club with Tretch. Tretch is Tretch from Jersey. Is, I knew that's Tretch. How they met. Oh. Right, I knew Tretch from Jersey. He used to be at Red House. So right. he was the one like, yo, my boy Pac wanna meet you, da da da. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you, right? Mm-hmm. I hadn't met you. We got we got the tiger ball? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, not me, got, that's for him. No, you okay, all right, cool, yeah, cool. Yeah, I'll yeah. take one. So <laughs> I had I'll met you. Salute. Uh, Salute. Salute. All right, cool. You got Salute. the tiger ball? I'll too? take one right, for cool. Fizzy for the break. <laughs> oh, I had met you. Oh my god. Son of a bitch. And I knew the most lovable person. Who the glass? I met you in Justin's. Oh, wow. I met you in Justin's, and um, we were just there, and I had smelled like weed. You was like, you got weed? I was like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew, like, like, the type of person you was. So when I revisited the picture, I was like, that picture was Oh, innocent. I didn't know him. I had just met like, him. I could tell, like, yeah, after yeah. meeting you, I knew that picture I'm cool, was, though. I'm cool was, with everybody. And that's not to excuse the fact forgetting? that in hindsight. Yeah, I did. You know? I did. But, and it, we were just on everything, just talking about this, like, last night. But, you know, it's like, nigga, you know me. A big would have, I told Big I yeah. met Pop. Like, I would yeah. avoid Big's call sometime to that producer's house that I was working yeah. with. Just all my little bullshit, you know. Mm -hmm. We did dumb shit. But then this time, I took it. I was happy to tell him because I knew, like, Big did not want to believe that. I didn't know Pop, but I knew what he said about him, how he felt about him. Right. And so when he even had an inkling of, like, at that time, it wasn't confirmed, like, he really felt like that. But it was little shit. It wasn't no 
social, you know what I mean? Right. Like, I don't know if it was even so much direct shit at the time. It was, that article wasn't out, so I was happy. Like, yo, I met your boy Pac, and he told me he liked my music and wanted to do a song with me. I'm thinking, yeah, right. big was, he ain't say don't do it. He's like, you want to do it? I was like, yeah, I gave him Mark's number, told him right. how much it's going to be. And we say Mark, Mark Pitts. Yeah, he okay. was my he was Big's manager, so okay. a, after a certain point, I let him be my manager because okay. I didn't have a manager when I right. got signed. But right. you know, it wasn't it wasn't something that I was hiding. Put it that's the point I'm making. Right. And my point was, if Big would have said don't do it, if Big because we know Big wasn't he wasn't on the guard and, and uh, he probably was a little confused. Like I don't think that's true because there's no way he could feel he could think. But that. but would you understood how he tried to use you as a casualty at all? Absolutely, and that's not right. only not only him, but the thing is at that time. I didn't even know the the bigger situation. When I went to the studio with Pop, I didn't know he was signed to Death Row. I was on wow. stage with Pop at that Source Awards when Shook said that. Wow. I was there on stage, but I didn't oh, know what right. about that. She was I was on stage. Right. I didn't know what the hell he was talking about. I had on a, a, like a champagne colored silk suit, oh. Chris Webber, me and Pop. Yeah. I was clapping. I didn't know what the hell I was confused and clapping at like, Yo, I didn't Boris. know what was going on. And yeah. even when I went in the studio, until I walked in the studio, I didn't know Pac was signed to Death Row. Right. Like, I immediately was like, oh, shit. Like, I knew all the people from just whatever I seen in the media. I saw probably, uh, I don't remember, maybe a Danny Boy. Corrupt, Corrupt, the dog Corrupt time. was there. You right. know what I mean? But I just started being the cool person I am, smoking with everybody, you know. Yep. I'm going to get this hook done. But I felt a little weird because I just didn't know he was on Death Row. Right. And I knew that this guy who runs this label had just said some shit about the person that runs my label, All right. even though I didn't know where it was coming from. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know where it was coming from for even years after, the, even for a few years after that, you know? Wow. Like there's a whole backstory to all that that has nothing to do with Big right. or Tupac, you know shit. what I'm saying? Yeah. So. All right. All right. Wow.